Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my perfume collection and how to smell like you have money when you don't. So I'm super excited to get into this video. Fragrance has been one of my most recent interests, I guess you can say. Um, for the longest time, I was just using the same exact perfume. Like for years of my life, I wore the same exact perfume. Um, and I still love that perfume. I wear it all the time and I'll mention which one it is in this video. But in the most recent months, I've just been really interested in learning about different notes and perfumes, different houses, um, what smells like rich i guess i don't know there's something unique when you smell a perfume that's like expensive and it smells like the person is expensive I, it's so weird but i've just been very interested in what notes make up those types of like perfumes and fragrances versus ones that you know i've smelled in the past so i've just been really interested in different notes different houses different niche brands even though i only have I have my one little niece fragrance. Um, but aside from that, I'm just really interested in learning as much as possible and watching fragrance YouTube. I watch a lot of Mila's videos. Um, and just overall, I have a newfound interest in fragrance. So I'm excited to bring this video to you guys today. So I keep most of my perfumes, I'm gonna pick it up now, it might clank a little bit, but I keep most of my perfumes on this tray here. Set it down now so it doesn't clank and that thing's really heavy. Um, I got that from like a restaurant depot type situation. I'm gonna link it down below if I could find it. Um, but it was like some type of like restaurant website and I got it, I wanna say for like 15 to 20 bucks. It was pretty cheap um, and it's just a gold um, plate type thing, like a setting tray with a mirror bottom. I think perfumes especially look really nice with mirrors on the bottom. It just looks really classy, um, super fancy um, to display your perfumes. I keep mine right now. Um, I'm looking at it. Um, I'll insert a clip to where I keep them. It's on top of a fireplace that we have in our basement. Um, I used to keep them in one of my drawers in my Alex drawers where I keep my makeup. But once I started accumulating more perfumes, it just got way too heavy. Like I was going to break um, the drawer and I don't really know how much weight that can hold, honestly. So it probably was better to keep them in there just so they're not in the sun. But we don't really open the shades down here much to begin with, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, I just have a handful of them up here and then I do still keep some um, in the drawer down there. So I'm just gonna hop into my fragrance collection, starting with the ones that make you smell the most expensive. And then I'll make my way down to my least expensive guys because everybody has to have some of those, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start with the one that has its own video here on my channel. It is Le Labo Another 13. This perfume is just something ugh, like, no words can ex explain how this fragrance smells like I struggled in my video to like thoroughly explain how this perfume smells I think I said it smelled like woods next to the sea which I mean I don't have anything better to say about it now <laughs> that's what it smells like to me um, but it does smell super super classy super fancy um, I feel like a lot of niche fragrances have that quality to it and I still I can't put my finger on it what makes it so unique and what makes it so different and smell rich like it smells like money <laughs> Um, but something about this perfume just does. Um, and I mean, there's a reason this guy has a pretty price tag on it, um, but I think it's worth every penny if you have the money to spare or if you're looking for a gift, um, definitely see if you can even just get a sample size of these. Um, I started by getting my first sample size of these. It's like $6 or something off their website. And I was able to see that I actually really do love the scent. So another 13 by Le Labo is my most expensive perfume and definitely the one that makes me smell the most expensive too. Oof. I'm getting so washed out. I'm pale to begin with, so this is not good. The next perfume I'm gonna talk about is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. This perfume is just so nice. It's very sweet, like it has a very sweet quality to it, um, but it does have more of a warm dry down to it. Um, for me personally, I like more warm fragrances. Um, this one, it's opening when you first spray it. I can see it smelling a little bit florally. Not florally, but like, candy it smells a little like candy um, so if you were somebody who liked really sweet fragrances growing up i think you would love this um, because it's definitely more of a sophisticated sweet just delicious scent it smells so good i feel like i'm gonna just be smelling a bunch of these because i have to like figure out what to say and i have to smell it to do so but yeah it definitely just smells like the girl who wore like Prada candy or something, or like something so, so sweet, the Viva La Juicy fragrances. Um, this is her all grown up because she smells so good. It's just a more mature, sweet, but still seductive, sexy version. And I think this smells so nice. It definitely smells a little bit like money, like sweet money. The notes in this one are warm, flor warm florals, keynotes, black currant, jasmine, bourbon, vanilla. So it is very sweet but still has that warmness to it to bring it all together. 
This next one already got a feature on my channel. It was in my quarantine perfume blind buy video. I'll link that down below if you haven't seen that already. But this is Alien by Thierry Migler. And this is just the most amazing, sexy jasmine perfume. And I'm not a fan of jasmine personally, which it really surprised me that I love this so much. Um, I bought this specifically based on recommendations from YouTube. It's so unique, at least where I'm from. I don't often smell people who smell like this. Um, it definitely is a statement. Like if you walk by, especially during the daytime wearing this, it's gonna turn heads because it's so strong. It's like a very strong woman is going to wear this. It smells so, so good. It's very, like I said, grown up and sexy. It just smells so nice. Um, I used to wear this a lot over the summer, so this is definitely bringing me back to the summer. And it just smells so good, guys. You have to try this. If you haven't smelled this yet, go and smell it through your mask, honestly, because it smells so good. The next perfume I have is a little bit of a weird one. Um, I feel like nobody talks about this specific house. Um, this is Derek Lamb, and um, he had a line at Sephora where every single one every single fragrance in the line was reminiscent of a place or a memory in this person's life. So this particular one is called Silent Street, which there's a whole story. Actually, let me just Google it. Now I keep smelling that alien. I can't spray anything else because that is so overpowering. So the description for this one says, Silent Street, Crosby Street at first snow, a moment of total peace and purity in the middle of the chaos of New York City, the essence of pure white musks. Um, so that's what it says about this. Each Perfume, like I said, in the line is reminiscent of a certain memory that this perfumer had. Um, and it just is supposed to embody that experience. So this particular scent, I got a sample size of, well, actually I got a little sample size of all 10 fragrances when I was working at MAC. Um, it was um, something that was included in my gratis and I didn't like any of them besides this one. This was the Silent Street one, which was the first one I think I smelled. Um, and I can't describe to you what this smells like besides grandma, and baby powder mixed together. That's what it smells like, <laughs> which makes it sound disgusting, but it is seriously the most comforting, like this is my comfort perfume. I feel like everybody has a scent that they wear when they wanna be comforted. Um, for me, it's either vanilla because I love vanilla perfumes. When I was in high school, I only wore vanilla. Um, or this like this is my comfort perfume if I'm like having a rough day or if I just really want to be cozy and just feel comforted and nurtured I literally wear this um, It just smells so nice, which I'm not like selling it well right now because it makes it sound like only a grandma should wear this But it smells really really nice. It dries down really nice um, It does have that musky quality to it. Um, so if you don't like that, you're not gonna like this perfume at all It's super super musky but there's something about it that I don't know, that baby powder grandma smell just gets me and I love it. I feel like everybody needs a perfume that's comforting and soft like this. And for me, it's um, Silent Street by Derek Lamb. The next one, I'm gonna get my favorite over with. Um, my favorite as in my one I've gone through the absolute most. And this is my Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon. Mm, this is me in a bottle. This is literally what I smelled like for how many years? 16, 17, 18, nine probably three, four years. I mean, I still wear this all the time. Like if I don't know what perfume to wear, I'll just default to this one because it's my signature scent. Like this is me. Um, and I actually smelled this for the first time. Also when I was working at Sephora, I think Sephora like gave me a lot of scents um, just because I got a lot in gratis, little tester sizes. And I remember we got this one and the rose, the Elizabeth and James Nirvana rose. And I hated the rose one. I don't really like the scent of rose, but the bourbon one, I was hooked it seriously was like the most amazing scent to me it's super super warm i wouldn't say it's masculine i think i mean any scent could be unisex no matter what you want um but i don't think it has a super super masculine quality to it like a lot of um colognes have but i think it is just very warm and that bourbon in it that really makes it super super deep is really what gets me because i like warm deep perfumes um, and this is just super nice i've never been a florally person i've always been a musky deep vanilla anything like that is my thing so this is like heaven in a bottle to me i absolutely love this i don't know if you could see how far down i am on this one but this is probably like my fifth bottle i've gone through and i have like three backups because um this got discontinued at sephora and it's really hard to find nowadays i just buy a bunch of them on groupon and the groupon also came with this little baby one and it's so cute it's like a little 
little friend for him. And I probably will never use this. This will probably be my perfume. Like once I for realsies can never find this perfume again, I'll just like hold on to this for the memories. Um, but it's so cute. I love it. The next one I'm going to talk about is probably super surprising because it's so random, but this is actually Kourtney Kardashian's perfume. It's the yellow diamond and this smells so good. It smells so good. You guys, the other two ones that they came out with like Kim's and Chloe's were, mm -mm, those were not good at all. But I was like drawn to this one for some reason. The yellow just seemed warm to me. Didn't seem like floral or anything. And I sprayed it and I was like obsessed with it. I had to really dig to try to find this guy. I think I had to buy it from somebody because when I first smelled it, it was on clearance at Ulta and they were sold out of um, just Courtney. They had Kim and Chloe left, of course, but they were sold out of Courtney and literally online they were sold out of Courtney. So I had to buy it off of somebody on like Mercari or something. And I didn't pay too much for it because I'm not about to spend a ton of money on a Kourtney Kardashian perfume, but I did really like it. So I'm just gonna run through the um, notes on this one too, just because it's one that not many people I feel like know about because it was one of their like limited edition fragrances, fragrances, excuse me, that they put out. This is white currant, jasmine, iris, and magnolia, whipped cream, tonka bean, vanilla, and patchouli. And it smells like a perfume that I've smelled before, like in the past. I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it is another one of those really warm florals, I guess. I, I'm so tentative to say florals when it comes to me because I'm like, I don't like florals, that's disgusting. But I guess it would best be described as a warm floral, seriously. Um, in my mind though, florals are still those like really bright, like daisy Mark Jacobs, like no, 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 that, I don't like that at all. This is like a very nice, warm, um, deep floral. And the vanilla is really what I feel like brings it down and makes it super creamy smelling. So I actually really do like this one. I can't say it lasts a super long time, um, but it smells really nice, at least when I first spray it. This is the most impractical perfume ever though. It doesn't have like a flat bottom. Can you see that? It's not a flat bottom. You can't stand this perfume up. It has to lay on its back. So this is one of the ones that lives in my drawer because I, I can't deal with it. It can't stand, so it's gonna lay in my drawer. I'm gonna get this one out of the way while I'm talking about the Kardashians. Um, this is Kim Kardashian's Crystal Violet Musk. Um, this is one of my perfume blind buys, mostly because I like the bottle <laughs> and because I thought based off of the description that was online that I was gonna like this um, because it had tonka bean in it. And I do like that undertone in certain fragrances. Um, but this one, mm-mm. Welcome, how are you? So this one is Bergamot Lavender Peonies. I think that's why I hate it so much. I don't like the scent of peonies. Um, Lily of the Valley, vanilla, roasted tonka bean, sandalwood. They stick the good notes right in at the bottom. But this guy is really just, oops, are you smelling my perfume? Are you smelling? My dog's smelling my perfumes now. This one's just not my cup of tea. It's way too florally for me. Um, I don't know, hearing crystal violet musk. When you hear musk, you think it's gonna be a musky perfume. I don't think I even read musk on any of the notes for this perfume, but I didn't think I read musk at all, which is so weird because it's crystal violet musk. I don't know, it just sounded really good when I read the name, um, but it was super deceiving. It's so, so florally, it's very light. Um, which I should have known, honestly, but at the time I had like almost no experience with fragrances yet. So this was a huge pass for me. I'm probably just gonna try to sell this. Another thumbs down, I'm just gonna get this one out of the way. This is the Kat Von D Saint. Um, this was another one of my perf perfume blind buys. This is why you don't blind buy perfume, you guys. Smell them first. And I can't, this is just the most basic floral perfume ever. Um, I was trying to be nice in my video and say that this would be a nice spring perfume, but honestly, I won't wear this at all. It's just so basic, it's so boring, um, and I don't like it at all. Honestly, it just smells like a basic, boring floral perfume. So I think this is a hard pass. The bottle on this is so pretty though. It kind of sucks that the scent sucks so much. The next one I have is Juicy Couture Gold. I actually wore this perfume when I was in high school and I, I don't know if I got this, where did I get this from? It was on sale somewhere for this little baby size of it and I would rather get this little baby size than spend the full amount on the big size. So I opted for the baby size instead and it smells so good guys. It's like sickeningly sweet, warm goodness. Like if you love to smell like warm, yummy, goodness, you'll love this. Um, I will say it smells a little, I don't want to say immature, um, but it's definitely not like a sophisticated scent. This is when you want to smell like warm and yummy 
and delicious. Um, I don't think this smells like you're a millionaire, but I don't care. I feel like a millionaire when I wear this because it smells so yummy. This one really has that like warmness in the like caramel praline um, scent that's in it. Um, its notes are super, super sweet and super warm. And I know some people don't like this just because it's a little too sweet for some, for some people. Um, I like all the deep sweetness. Like I don't like it if it's super, super high. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, Cause there are some scents that are very light and sweet and in your face. And then there are some that are a little bit more deep but they're still really, really sweet, if that makes sense. I like scents like that, that have a little bit of a deepness to them. They're a little bit more, there's more going on. There's more um, layers in them. So I, I really like this one. It's really, really nice. Um, and I mean, I wore this in high school and I still wear it now. I think it's a really, really nice scent. I'm gonna talk about this one next um, because this was totally a YouTube made me buy it. Um, Mila was talking about this. <laughs> I forgot what her channel name is. I think it's Mila LeBlanc. She is like the fragrance YouTuber for me. Like I love watching her videos. She has such a funny sense of humor um, and I love her taste in fragrances. Sometimes our opinions differ a little bit. She's like diehard Jasmine fan and I'm a vanilla gal, um, but I do love some of her recommendations and this is one of them. This is the Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber. And this smells like a Victoria's Secret body mist, but all grown up. Like if you wore those body mists when you were in middle school or in high school, like I feel like you would love this just because it still is so, so, so sweet, but it has that deepness that makes it not a body spray and not just a Victoria's Secret perfume, but it makes it like a woman perfume. Not that Victoria's Secret perfumes aren't for women. I have a Victoria's Secret perfume here too, but it just smells like, like that all grown up. That's what I would imagine this. Um, you definitely smell that cherry and the amber is really the deepness that this perfume I feel like needs to ground it and make it like super more mature and not smell like a Victoria's Secret body spray, if you know what I mean. The next scent is another one of my favorites. This is Pure Vanilla by La Vanilla. And this is a pure ass vanilla. Like it is the most sweet, like crystallized candy vanilla ever. Um, this is just the greatest when you want to smell super, super yummy, or if you want to layer this with other perfumes, if you want it to be extra vanilla-y. Somebody at my job asked me what I was wearing once and I was wearing this and they immediately bought it the next day. Um, so they clearly are a vanilla girl, just like me. I love vanilla fragrances so much. That's why I don't feel weird at all about wearing a perfume that's literally vanilla. This is pure vanilla. The next one I have, I'm actually kind of bummed that they changed the packaging on this because I had this perfume when I was in high school, um, but this is Victoria's Secret Teas. I don't remember when I got this. I think I got this like a year and a half ago randomly. I don't know why, I just randomly wanted to get Victoria's Secret Teas again um, because I have the body spray still and it was starting to smell a little off. So I wanted to get this perfume again because I had it when it had the little puffer ball. This is one of my perfumes that I have in my collection. I don't wear it that often but it does just remind me of like when I was young and Victoria's Secret was my first retail job that I had when I was 18 before they were problematic AF, but <laughs> Tease is still, I think a really sweet perfume. I feel like it smells a little differently than when it was in the little poof. I think they might've reformulated it a little bit because it does smell a little bit more like that pear. I think there's a pear note in this, is there not? It's black vanilla, frozen pear and blooming gardenia. I don't know what about this new bottle situation for some reason i feel like it smells a little different than it used to i mean i still think it's a nice scent when you first spray it you smell the pear like it is peri pear oh my god i'm so lame but it does smell super like pear like i it's so weird i don't remember it smelling like that when i first got this i think they like amped that up a ton because it's not as warm as it used to be i don't typically wear this. It is on a rare occasion that I will wear this. Sometimes over the summer, if we're just going on a walk with our dog, I want to like spruce myself up a little bit um, so I don't smell sweaty after walking. Um, but I don't typically reach for this one, but it is a little blast from the past. The next one, I have this little baby Michael Kors um, Midnight Shimmer. This is another one that I wore a lot in high school. It has that super, super warm um, quality to it. Yeah, again, it's another sickeningly sweet, warm one. I feel like I have a lot of those in my collection just because I gravitate towards those. I feel like when you start first getting into fragrances, you will accumulate some of the basically same smelling perfumes. Like I have so, so many like warm, musky, vanilla, ambery, just deep, sweet perfumes. 
And I feel like that's just because you will gravitate towards what you like. And when I first started getting into fragrances, vanilla was like my baseline. That's what I liked. I liked warm scents and I like sweet scents. So a lot of the scents that I got right at the beginning are very sweet, warm scents. And this is another one of them. Honestly, there's nothing special about this. Um, I wouldn't say run out and get this one. I do like it a lot. Um, and I used to remember walking into Ulta and just smelling this perfume like every single time I went in because I was like, I'm gonna get you one day. I'm gonna get you one day. And I did get it one day and I do love it. And I have it again, again with these little ones, ones that I've worn in high school. I do get baby sizes of them just because I feel like I don't need a full size like this and this guy here. These were like high school. I love them. And I feel like I need a little bit of that nostalgia. And um, this is where that comes in. If I want a little bit of nostalgia, if I want to smell a little sweet, a little warm, um, kind of feel a little bit comforted, I will wear these guys. Moving on to a really unique one. This is White Musk Smoky Rose from The Body Shop. I would never know about this perfume if it wasn't for my boyfriend. He actually worked at The Body Shop. Funny story about this. So The Body Shop has this one, the Smoky Rose, and then they have one called White Musk. And I would go and visit my boyfriend all the time, spray some perfumes, whatever. Um, and nothing blew me away, honestly, when I was there. I would just spray some stuff, try some samples, and then leave. But one day, I was walking out of the mall, and I was, like, smelling myself. And I was like, oh my god, this smells good. Like, what is this? So the next time I went back, I went to my boyfriend's store, and I was like, I need to smell this perfume. And in my mind, I was so, like, convinced and sure that it was the white musk one because... I like musk perfumes it only makes sense that it was that one but i sprayed that one and i walked outside and i was smelling it and i was like so weird i don't think that was it so i went back another time and i was smelling the smoky rose which i was like it can't be that one because i hate roses i hate the scent of rose why would i like that scent but i sprayed it on me i walked outside and i was like oh my god this is literally it do you know when like the wind hits you a certain way and you smell your perfume and you're like that's good that's how I felt with this one. It was so nice for like no reason, for no good reason. It's a rose perfume. Why does it smell good? I'll wear this every now and then. It does remind me of that time in our lives when we weren't new, like we had been dating for like two years at that point, if not three, yeah, going on three years. Um, but it still reminds me of that time in our lives. I did have one more that I bought just because they were like stupid on sale. I think I got them for like $6. Or like eight dollars like something very very cheap um for these perfumes just because the body shop always has sales i feel like nobody shops at the body shop um but i did give the other one to my mom just because i share a lot of my perfumes with her um so she can try some new scents as well and i didn't feel like i needed a backup of this guy so the notes in this one are bergamot pink pepper and black currant um which if I read that, I don't think I would have liked this, but like I said, sometimes you just have to try smelling it on you and see how it reacts to your body because the way this one reacts on my body is actually really nice. And for some reason, my body chemistry turns everything into being very warm. Um, and this turns into a super warm scent. I mean, I think it's like a warm floral to begin with. I definitely smell the pepper in the cap, oh my gosh. But it smells super nice um, when it's on. And I do like the scent of this, even though it's not like a super high priced perfume. And my dog's gonna join us again. Hi, pup. All right, this scent was one of my favorites over the summer when I first started working at Max. So this is two years ago now, almost three. This will be going on three years ago now um, when I first started freelancing at Mac. This smells like literally summer in a bottle and just caked on my clothes when I would come home. All of my clothes would smell like this because when I would go to work, I would just take the testers of Turquatic and just spray it all over me. Um, I don't think I mentioned this is Mac Turquatic. Very, very, very fresh, very clean. I mean, it probably didn't smell clean on me after a long shift. This would be literally like, I can feel it on my clothes almost because I would just spray so much, but I just love the way this smelled. It was just perfect for the summer. And that's what I think of whenever I spray this. I would never wear this in the winter. It's just not a winter scent to me. This is only a summer scent because it smells so fresh, so, so clean. Next is Ariana Grande Cloud. I almost need a brand new one of these because it's almost finished. I love this perfume. This was one of my quarantine um, perfume blind buys because um, I was told it smells like Baccarat Rouge 540, which when I do have enough money where I can splurge, I will be purchasing that perfume because I love the way it smells. Um, and I can say it definitely does smell so, so similar to this guy. Um, it just has the same exact vibe. Like if you're spraying it on your clothes, at least. I know a lot of people say the dry down on your skin is a lot different. This one is more like cotton candy, sweetie. Like you can smell that it's more praline -y 
cotton candy is like very sweet um, and the dry down on baccarat is a little different but people say on clothes it smells almost identical and I could say there was someone I worked with my manager she wore baccarat every single day and she let me spray it on myself once too and I can tell you it smells like literally almost the same so it blew me away in that sense this one just doesn't last as long but it still is an amazing amazing perfume such an amazing um perfume by a uh, celebrity i think it's just an amazingly well executed um perfume fragrance the next one i have is nux protege la parfum i got this one because a lot of youtubers were saying this is good and it smells like the body oil which i guess this nux nux um however you pronounce this brand is kind of big in europe and in england and stuff like that because a lot of youtubers that i saw who talked about this were not from america so um, i wanted to give it a shot i wasn't super into it when i first smelled it it smells a little bit like sunscreen um like sunscreeny i guess but the dry down on this is really pretty it does smell very sophisticated like nice warm summer sun-kissed skin so i do like it in that sense and i'm gonna keep this for the summer i haven't used this since the summer i smell it Oh, this is like bringing me back to our house that we had too now because I sprayed it there and was wearing it a little bit there. But this is Nux. I think it is Nux, not Nux. I don't know. How do you say this, you guys? Protégé Le Parfum. Um, I would be interested to see what this body oil smells like too. It must smell exactly the same. Um, but it definitely, definitely is a summer perfume. It smells like some tan lotion. My next guy is my um, Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62. This is the Bum Bum Cream in a perfume. This is the most amazing, warm, pistachio summer scent. It's just the best. This is what literally the color is the perfect way to describe like the way this smells. It smells just like warm yellow orange brightness and just good it's so good it's not usual i feel like for summer scents to be warm it's usually more light more fresh you know but this one goes a different route and it's very warm for a summer scent but i can't imagine wearing this any other time of the year because it is so summery it does remind you of you know the whole um sol de janeiro is brazil and the beaches and it's just so so awesome the scent of this they like literally struck gold with the scent i mean that's why everybody buys the bum bum cream because it smells so good um and honestly this perfume smells just as amazing it smells identical to the lotion the last two that i have are more funny than anything and more just like for the memories of it just because these are perfumes that i actually wore in middle school i'm not sure if this speaks for itself but i want to clarify just in case that any perfume that i say that i had in high school or middle school is not the same bottle from high school and middle school i repurchased all of these um pretty recently just wanted to clarify just in case i got them mostly for just the nostalgia purposes and wanting to smell them um and honestly i like to smell like this sometimes i like to smell girly and young and you know i like that sometimes so i have these mostly for the memories but also sometimes because i just want to smell um fruity and young and what i used to wear in middle school so <laughs> the first one i have is ralph lauren big pony 2 and this one just i have to spray it oh it's so sickeningly sweet when i tell you guys i love 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 my sweet scents um this one i actually got for the first time when i was on a cruise um my mom always encouraged us to buy stuff when we were on the cruise because everything was um tax free i don't know there's a word for that they use um but everything is tax free when you are on a cruise and that was like my mom's favorite vacation so we always would go on cruises when we were kids so i picked the big pony 2 when i was in middle school and i remember every time i sprayed it it would just remind me of that vacation scents just connect us so much to like certain times in our lives which is why like a lot of these are just very nostalgic to me for like when i bought them when i was wearing them a lot um and this one's no different like when i spray this i just think of like summer and like being on a boat and just you know being near the water so this is a really important one to me like i said i don't wear this very frequently just because it is a little bit immature i guess you could say um it is more of like a young scent which i'm gonna be 24 this month so i don't want to age myself but at the same time i don't always want to smell the way i did when i was in middle school you know i've matured a lot since then and you know this is just nice sometimes to smell to remember sometimes i'll wear this to bed um it's just a really nice scent just to have i feel like i feel like you need to keep those scents that you used to wear um just for nostalgia i swear i went through the whole bottle too on that cruise i had a big one um, mostly when i restock on my little babies i get small sizes just because i'm not wearing them a ton and i don't need a huge size but um yeah i loved this perfume when i was younger 
And this final one, this final one is just the perfume of perfumes when I was in middle school. I loved this scent. I know a lot of people that still wear this scent too. Honestly, it's a good scent. It's a fruity, it's a sickeningly sweet scent. You guessed it, it is Ed Hardy. <laughs> I don't even know what this is called. It's just Ed Hardy. Yeah, I don't think this one has a name. It's just the Ed Hardy perfume. And I think I got mine at like Kohl's or something. My mom used to shop a lot at Kohl's. I had like the baby sized ones though. This is like the biggest size I've ever had. If I had this when I was in middle school, forget about it. You would smell this literally before I even walked down the hall, you'd smell this. You'd smell me coming. But <laughs> it has the same vibe of the Big Pony 2, except this one is like, I level up. Like it smells so, so sweet. So like, oh, it's just crazy how, sweet this is. I personally, like I said, I don't wear this to go out. I wear this mostly in bed and mostly to just smell for nostalgia purposes. Um, oh my God, just smelling it now. It's just so weird. Connecting special events to scents is just the coolest thing you can do. It's so weird what your brain does when you smell a scent. It's something with your like olfactory bulbs. I remember learning about this in school, but the way that scent is just connected to our memory just amazes me. Um, so I think it's so cool. That's why I wanted to start growing my collection too. So it's not just one perfume because that perfume, the Elizabeth and James Nirvana bourbon, it reminds me of a lot now because I wore it throughout a span of my life. So it doesn't remind me of one specific thing. It reminds me of just me. So I wanted to get more scents that continue to remind me about different time periods in my life. So that's kind of why I, why I wanted to grow my collection a little bit more. But this is weird. Oh my God, it's like lingering in the air and it's just like, smells like I'm back in my hot pink bedroom back when I was like, 12. I love collecting perfumes. I love talking about perfumes. I love watching videos about perfumes. So I hope you guys like this type of content. Um, but I actually did this video getting off track a little bit now, but I wanted to film my first true crime video. That's going to be my next video that's up. Um, but I needed a little bit more time to prepare for that. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm really excited to dive into that kind of chapter in my channel, kind of the direction I want to go with it. Um, so keep an eye out for that. That will be my next video, but I wanted to just get this one out because I think it'd be a really fun thing to film. But that is it for today's video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.